What's up guys, you're back with the FanDuel Hurry Up. You're with Justin Henry here, talking today about the Green Bay Packers in fantasy football this season and their top three options. We saw Devontae Adams go to the Raiders. Aaron Rodgers had some contract stuff that he was going through. But now the stage is set and heading into the 2022 season, I've got some players that I've got my eye on that can help your fantasy team win some games. The first is Aaron Jones, and he's been a stable in this offense for the last five years. And yes, Aaron Jones is going to be a factor this season in the passing game as well with the departure of Devontae Adams. So he's been a top 10 option over the last couple of years, even with going through a few injuries. And I expect that to increase. Now, A.J. Dillon is there in the back in the backfield, ready to come on strong, get some work. But Aaron Jones is going to be a major factor in the passing game now that Devontae Adams is gone. He's been reliable in the red zone as well. So let's see Aaron Jones uh, still establish himself as a top 10 running back this season. He's missed a couple games even last season. He missed two games and still finished as the running back 10 overall in PPR leagues. So yes, I am buying into Aaron Jones. You can get him outside the top 12 too, which makes him a huge draft day steal because the Packers are still going to rely on Aaron Jones very heavily. The next player I want to talk about is Alan Lazard. Alan Lazard has been this, this kind of the secondary receiver, not really a big part of the offense. He had a career high eight touchdowns last season, but at 6'5", 225, there's no real threat for number one receiver outside of Alan Lazard on this team. The, the team, the Packers did draft Christian Watson. They did sign Sammy Watkins, but Alan Lazard has a clear cut chance to be the number one wide receiver for this Packers team. And Aaron Rodgers has been quoted as saying, I think he's ready for the opportunity. So Alan Lazard to me has a lot of upside. You can get him as like a wide receiver five uh, in your drafts. And so be prepared to take a little bit of risk on him. We could see him potentially put up a good thousand yard season with about eight touchdowns. So that wouldn't shock me if he finished as a wide, re uh, wide receiver three or higher. Make sure you're looking at Alan Lazard as a potential wide receiver three option for your team. Don't reach too much, but just know that it's there. And then the last player I want to talk about is Aaron Rodgers. Uh, he's been a fantasy mainstay for it seems like the last 20 years. But Aaron Rodgers has been a consistent top 10 wide receiver every single time he stepped on the field outside of an injury plague season. Now, Without Devontae Adams, a lot of people are scared. They're they're fading Aaron Rodgers, and I don't think that's the case. I think he's, no matter who he has around him, he's going to be a rock-solid quarterback for your team. He's finished in the top seven the last four years. So even without Devontae Adams, Aaron Rodgers knows how to find his guys. Still elite, very low on interceptions, very high on touchdowns, which we love to see in fantasy. So make sure he's not falling too far. Right now, he's being drafted outside of the top ten. And with Aaron Rodgers, you know he's a lock to be a top 10 quarterback no matter who's on his team. Robert Tanyan is back as well. They still have Aaron Jones in the passing game. And I mentioned Alan Lazard, Sammy Watkins, and first round and second round pick Christian Watson coming to the team. So just know that the weapons are still there. They're just not the familiar faces you're used to. But Aaron Rodgers, still a fantasy threat at the quarterback position. Let me know your guys' thoughts on your favorite top three options for the Green Bay Packers. And if you agree with me or not, make sure to take advantage of the offer below and we'll see you on the next hurry up.